Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Stone Hearth, the most adorable game that has ever been, I believe. It's like a cute version of a city building game where they casually stand on the roof of a building and talk about how they love each other. So we've got a lot of deforestation going on and we have started work on our dining hall. But the bird returns. <coughs> the messenger bird returns with a reply from Mer Burley Hands. The letter has a this the letter has bite marks and slightly drilled on. Harold is doing his best. Congratulations on your founding your app. Outpost has been entered into the registry. Consider yourself official. Her Majesty's Outpost of North Wolfshire. It has a nice ring to it, I think. An inspirational banner design as well. All of us here are eager to hear of your success. The letter continues. As your outpost rose towards settlement status, you will start to attract new immigrants. Your hearth is now the only... St your hearth is, is only a spark of what will one day become. I have faith that you will be a beacon seen all across the Ancestry. Take time to consider what you consider most important. What you wish your beacon to stand for. Prosperity, happiness, strength. Each is a noble pursuit. Wishing you the best of luck. Yours in the capital, Mer Burley Hands. P.S. A small gift for you from my personal garden. Frost nap seats. A rugged survivalist stops by with her wares. I don't know if I have anything to sell to you. What is this? Padded vest. I'll sell you the padded vest. As for everything else, yeah, I'm keeping it. And I'll buy as much of that as I can. Awesome stuff. So I've taken on a, another hearthling between episodes as well. We have, now have John Wester. This, this guy here with uh, that pretty epic sideburns. Okay. Yep, he's going to be sent down the mines forever. Speaking of... I'm going to set him off in the mines here. To dig out this section there. All the way up there. And this part too. I'm going to leave that little bit in the, the corner there. Right. Your job is not to build. You are only there to mine. Looks like our dining hall is finished as well. Very handy. Let's go ahead and build the other sleeping quarters that I placed down earlier. That should give everyone a bed. And with the addition of having a stone finally coming in, I think that would be a good thing. Now let's go ahead and place down another carpenter's house. As for where, I think I am not entirely sure actually. I think just next to it here wouldn't be a bad thing. But I'm going to remove those two things and I actually need to remove the sign as well. I want the Mason's sign. Now where is this sign positioned? Right underneath the roof right there. 
and I also need the Mason's workbench. I don't think I have the proper Mason's bed uh, bench yet. Daily update. Didn't make the food this time. That mine's coming along quite quickly actually. But now that we've got stone coming in, let's have a look at our mason here. What's required for the mason's pedestal? Mason of level 3. Let's go ahead and make a cook's spoon and a potter's cutter. And go make me another 20 of these. I should level you up quite a good bit. Oh, what's going on with this? Because I requested a hat. I requested a new hat for our footman. So, things are coming along quite nicely. This is going to be like our crafting area over here, where all of our people, <laughs> all of our crafters are going to be, we're going to have them in this generalized area over here. All of this will end up being their areas. And there's going to be some sort of boundary wall that runs down here, which I think will be a good thing. And the town will spread out down this way a little bit. So what I'm going to do is request these trees all get cleared from this area. You've arrived with doors and windows to sell. Coloured to match the desert. It's green. Fair enough. Oh, I don't want to sell the leather skull cap, but I do want to sell all of those. And that. And then you can go in and leave me be. I'm going to have a mason of level 3. And you go ahead and make two hammers as well. Your pedestal. And craft that. And requires copper ore. We don't have any copper ore yet, so to wait on that one. That will keep him busy for a little while. I presume it's a him. Never bothered to check. Oh, it's a her. I'll keep her busy for a little while. With the addition of that, I'm going here and Mason's pedestal. i place that right there. And I'll hit that build button as well. We got the mason's pedestal on the go. Let's have a look inside here. Just just the table. Is that really all that they put in here? Yeah, fair enough. Also can't help but notice that there's no windows out the back. So what I'm gonna do is get another dining hall. I want this one back to back with that one. Let's go ahead and look inside. Get rid of all of this furniture. And this is going to have... 
I can find uh, storage. It'll be full of large crates. Of course they don't fit properly. Is that the right way? Yes, it is. Three on that side. Three on that side. One there, and on the edge here. Let me see what can I have. All right, let's go ahead and pause the game there. Over here, I'd like to put something else. Put a couple of shelves in. I'm not sure if they'll actually be able to be used, but there's that. Now, what's going on here? the music for people attacking. I see. This should be no problem at all. You've got a hammer now, so... There we go. Yeah, no problem at all. Can't remember what my hearthlings are even working on, to be honest. This building here. Another shared sleeping quarters. As well as the Mason's hovel. I'll just leave the weaver somewhere to go. You make toys. What are they for? A toy? For children, of course. Of course it is. Go ahead and make me 22 of these. <coughs> I keep them busy and we can get a tenth hearthling so of course we're going to. Marianne Lou has joined her North Wolfshire. Congratulations. Let's have a look. Marianne Lou, you have good courage. How is this coming along? Waiting on the trapper's knife. Requires a placed mason's pedestal. Well, I can do that. That's not a problem at all. In theory. Throw this one over there. Oh, you're a little bit injured, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Eighteen days left of summer. Got plenty of building going on. This building's coming along quite nicely. Looks like the mine is... in close to being done. A local ranger is passing by, offering pets to adopt. I kind of want sheep. If I'm being honest. I don't think I have anything to sell. I need the workshops, I need the resources. I suppose I could sell all of these. Nowhere near enough. Need 600 gold. That's a shame. They'll be back though. They always come back. What seeds do I currently have? Oh, 
What are these? White moss. You gotta keep up with that white moss. Now, change jobs. Congratulations, you're a trapper. Shri, very pleased with yourself. There we go. Let's set up a trapping zone. I think over here. Big 50 by 50 zone over here for small animals. That's going to bring in a good amount of food, a good amount of hide. That building's now finished. So everyone has a bed, I think. Eight, nine, oh no, we're still. We need this to be built before everyone will have a bed yet. Looks like it's all almost done anyway. Let's set this bed to the mason. Just waiting on a couple of items to come in. And then someone to go and pick up all the wood off the roof, that would be nice. No, that's not going to happen. I like how the building actually joins in. I like this look. What alleyways. And so with that being done, we can now lift these two. Get them out of the way. And the other thing I'd like to do is over here, in this spot right here, Hit that build button. Tiny cottage. Right there. So they're going to start working on this storage area now. Which is a, a good thing. Town is coming along quite nicely. is starting to look quite nice. There's the video thumbnail for today's episode, in case you were wondering. <coughs> so when I have a trapper, that's going to dramatically increase our food intake. We're not doing great for wood still. I have to now go out and collect the wood that they've already cut down. I suppose I could just tell them to start clearing over this way. Go ahead and clear like, a whole heap of these trees out. We've got 10 people now, 10 hearthlings, so it shouldn't be particularly long. What I'd like to do is start a new building. Got our daily update there. Let's have a look at roads. Now, we've got a whole heap of stone, I believe. We have like an almost unending supply of stone. So I'd quite like to use these. Let's undo that. A seven. That one come out by six. Nice big four white path down there. Uh, 
and all the way across here too. Oh, no, I want to undo that. It's not what I wanted to do. Do the same over here. Out by five, and then across here. I'll bring it out to there just now. That works for that area. And for these ones, do sort of the same thing. Well, it turns out they're not lined up very well. I like to fill in these areas too. Like so. Let's see here. All of that. And that. Join these two up as well. And let's hit build. That'd be a. How can you not figure. Oh, right, okay. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. We've got invaders approaching. Not worried about that. Do I have anything to sell you? I'm gonna sell you that. Doesn't seem to be getting used anyway. Otherwise, I don't think I do. What else do we have here? Person has joined. Awesome stuff. So once this building is done, everything will be much, much better. Right, let's see, uh, where's our farmer? You yeah, change jobs. Maybe a cook. Now we need to pick someone else to be the farmer. Our new farmer and we now have a cook. That's going to help. Go ahead and craft uh, your things. Require a cook of level 2. Well, you're not a level 2 cook yet, so... Awesome stuff. Need to hurry up and finish this house so that they can actually build that path I want them to. Yeah, this is this is what's causing the problem here, this ladder. So once that ladder's gone, all will be well. I would kind of like another footman. In fact, I think I can have a footman as it is. That's our miner. Change jobs. I can't. I sold all the swords. That's the mason carpenter. I didn't craft me one of those. Archer's bow. Don't know what it's for yet. Grab my two shields as well, because why not? That's really the only answer to that one. Furniture, signage and decorations. I like these. It's snowing. That could maybe be a problem. Okay, what I'm going to get you to do is 
build one of those and 30 benches. Think that'd be a good thing? I think? We'll find out. I was supposed to get you to craft me a sword as well. Or was I? Where is my footman? Requires a level 3 footman. <coughs> Fair enough. Daily update. Not a problem. Devona Zedru has joined North Wolfshire. We now have 11 people. Right, this one will be used to store... I have no idea. Um, store gold on that one and that one. Heap of chests going in here. How are we looking for edibles? 323. Not terrible. Certainly not terrible. How far off are you from level 3? You're a level one footman. Well, I don't really want to wait that long to have another footman, so... Still got loads of building to do, but get that on the go as well. It's all coming together quite nicely. Oh, apparently it's just snowing in summer then. Fair enough. They're not finished this building yet. They kind of need, need to hurry up on this one. So these chests are going to replace our stockpile. That's the plan anyway. Each one can hold 32 items. So I think if I got rid of everything here, that would be a good thing. I need to place some more workstations though. Get them out of the way. Alright, what do you require to create raw vegetable? Tasty vegetable stew. Go ahead and make me 30. Make meat stew as well. But we'll start with the vegetable stew. Now obviously, our little building over here is done. So let's assign this bed to our trapper. If I can find them. There they are. Uh, where? What happened? Why is my trapper all the way over there? There you go. Now the trapper lives right next to their area. We're just waiting on things being loaded in here by the looks of it. Trapper level 2. Trapper will occasionally choose to turn a particular fine animal into a pet. The trapper now qualifies for advanced jobs. Click the remote command for details. Let's have a look at the trapper. What is... A level 2 trapper. Shepherd's Crook. Well, that would actually be kind of useful. But, not going to do that at the moment. I want this building finished. We got winds tomorrow, but snow today. I 
Goblin with a fancy hat swaggers into town. Human peon. You no understand the might of the glittering army. You lucky to bow before me, also want some things to hold to at night, to sing me to sleep. I want three rough wooden bucklers, forty two hunks of stone, and two snow poppy flowers. Satisfy the goblins. You got the flowers, you got the stone, I need two more shields. I can do that. I'm gonna make quite a few of them. There's a different name, but I'm presuming that's what they're on about. Finally, they finished that. Let's go ahead and build this road. And now they don't have a problem with knowing how to build it. Actually, let's pause that because I have some goblins to keep happy. Let's uh, remove that. Ah, you already dug a hole. Well, that's annoying. Very snowy out here. Daily update. I will take a 12th Harfling. Irvin Hunterton has joined North Wolfshire. <coughs> what is that? Golder, nice. Looks like we're rich. We have a hunk of gold. If only. Trader approaches your town. Two trappers knife, I'll be back in three days with three iron helm. In exchange yeah, I'll do that. Let's um Stop that, pause the game. Trapper's knife. Make me five of them. Because I can sell the leftovers. Okay. You go after him anyway. Let's see how this one plays out. Looks like it's going quite nicely. Screenshot opportunity much? Yeah, so you just do hit him with a hammer repeatedly. Let's see how we're doing, we're satisfying the goblins. Yeah, we've got everything. When is the goblins back? Thought you'd have killed it by now. Yeah, footman level two. Congratulations. Oh, well, this vegetable stew we have lying around. This one be for. Cooked foods only. This one is for raw foods only. And this one can just be for everything since it's already full ish. This one though can be for cooking ingredients and animal feed. There we go. I should move some of the food away anyway. Yeah, food's going rotten out here anyway, so... A 
worth doing, I'd say. Let me just have a look here. What do I need for a herbalist staff? Do I have what I need for a herbalist staff? I do. I definitely craft one of those. Get myself a herbalist on the will heal people up. Be beneficial to us. But I think I'm going to leave that here for today, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then don't forget to hit that like button. Share this video with your friends. And hit that subscribe button so that you know when the next episode is coming out. You can hit the bell icon too, if you so desire. But thank you all very kind of watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.